Hi, I'm Paul with Boaters Exchange, and today we're taking a look at the 18 Maverick uh, 18 HPX. This is a 2019 model year. Um, Boaters Exchange, our dealership, has two locations, one in New Smyrna Beach and one in Rockledge, Florida. Um, we're a full service dealership, and we're proud to carry Maverick, boat, uh, Maverick boats. We also carry Hughes and Pathfinder. Um, Maverick Boat Group also makes Cobia. And uh, the 18 Maverick HPX, a lot of people ask us, what does HPX stand for in the 18 HPX? And depending on who you talk to, you get a different answer. Uh, high performance extreme. I've also heard it called holy polar extreme uh, based on the, uh, one of the original designers. Uh, but, uh, but the 18 HPX is a, first of all, it's a resin infused um, uh, carbon Kevlar hull. And what does that mean? Well, most boats are made out of fiberglass. Be uh, for the lightweight properties of carbon Kevlar, this boat is carbon Kevlar reinforced instead of fiberglass reinforced. And furthermore, um, it's a resin infused hull. And what is resin infusion? Uh, many people get resin infusion confused with vacuum bagging, which is a, a different technique. And in resin infusion, there are vacuum, uh, there is a vacuum process and there's a, uh, a vacuum bag process, but resin infusion is a, uh, uh, a method by which the resin is, um, is applied to the boat. And the benefits are that um, there's very, very little excess resin used so there's a quite a bit of weight savings in the process versus a hand laid up hull where the resin is sprayed in by eye and by feel in uh, in resin infusion the, a finite amount of resin is used with very little waste so the strength to weight ratio is maximized and uh, and also it's quite uh, quite a bit better for the environment um, as a side effect there's very little emissions in the process of the resin being cured so uh, carbon Kevlar resin infused means that the boat is very light and very strong. And as a consequence, it's ideal, it's optimized for poling. Um, this 18 is, um, has the uh, combination of being a great uh, flats boat that's also poling friendly because it's so light. And you can get, um, if you're the captain, you can have two other people on board safely and comfortably um, in, a, in an 18-foot boat. So the boat's combination of very stable, light, pulling ability, and shallow draft to the tune of around nine inches. So draft is always a very big topic when we talk about um, flats boats and particularly pulling skiffs. And what I've noticed is there are quite a few companies that do not accurately publish their draft. And I'm proud to say that Maverick Boat Company has a high degree of integrity um, Scott Deal and his team over there um, are not going to put details in their brochure that are not accurate to the best of their knowledge. And, uh, and so while the competitors, and of which there are very few, tend to exaggerate, there's a lot of hype, there's a lot of fluff, um, they, um, they may not necessarily publish the accurate details about their boat. And Maverick, because they're a high integrity company, um, does just that. And I'm cheating a little bit. I brought the brochure out because there's a few things they say in the brochure that are spot on for this brand. And, one of the, and, and for this we are proud. But I love the fact that um, this last sentence, Maverick, Mavericks are the result of serious anglers designing shallow water skiffs for serious anglers. No hype, no fluff, no nonsense. And I, I couldn't agree more. Um, and for, furthermore, um, I love this, uh, this other um, statement here, that uh, our boats are made to get you safely and comfortably to your fishing destinations, time after time, irrespective of conditions. Um, we build skiffs for, fish, for fishing like it really is, and for anglers who demand only the best and know the difference. And so the people that buy the Maverick boats, um, they do know the difference. They know that they're buying a quality boat that's been handcrafted, that is no fluff, no hype, and, uh, and very serious. 
And, and, and it's true that oftentimes the Maverick boat buyers will come in and know more about the boats than, uh, than the salesperson. And, and, uh, and that's just uh, flat out true. So 18 Maverick HPX, uh, what my son and I like about this boat um, is that first of all, shallow draft, very light. You're, um, you feel very safe on the water because it's so stable. Length overall is 18 feet, four inches. Um, this boat has optional equipment on here, such as a polling platform. Uh, we've got the powder coating option on the, pow on the polling platform. <clears throat> Interesting to note that the way their system works is I can open the front storage compartment and still um, utilize the polling platform. So their design is well thought through. If you look in the interior of the boat, um, you'll notice tremendous fit and finish their fuel tank, aluminum fuel tank, powder coated, everything nicely gel coated, no sharp edges on the fiberglass. Um, <clears throat> coming further back, we've got the over the console grab rail um, that is set up here that's also powder coated. There's rod racks on the side of the console. That's an option on the 18. You can get it on, on uh, one side or both sides or not at all. And in, my, in our case, we went ahead with just having rod racks on one side to allow it a little more interior waxing space. We've installed on here the um, custom-made fiberglass cooler that comes from Maverick. Um, this is a, a part that um, will hold ice um, tremendously well because it is made with, uh, with internal foam. Um, and holds ice as good as or even better than, say, a Yeti. Um, it's also removable, which is very handy on days, and let's say you have more than uh, two um, or three people on board the boat, maybe you don't want that um, internal cooler getting in the way. Coming back, we've got the polling platform with the sissy bar. And so the sissy bar is a neat feature. It's removable. So we can pull a pin and that whole assembly comes out and leaves me with just the sissy bar. You can even get an option where that sissy bar then um, is installed on the front polling platform, uh, which we didn't get on this boat, but that is a, an option. We have the, uh, the, the shallow water anchor, which in this case is the blade power pole. This is an eight footer um, in black. Now, the motor, on this boat, we went with a 115 uh, show motor. Max horsepower is a 150 on the, the, the particular model. But, um, but we feel that the 115 is the correct motor for this boat. Um, I wouldn't go any bigger. It certainly um, pushes the boat well. Um, this is the 115 show. Show stands for super high output. It's the same weight as the regular 115 but it's tuned a little uh, better for a uh, better hole shot. Um, there's also some a um, uh, little different mapping um, for, uh, again, for, for hole shot and torque on the 115 show and some other little advantages. Let's see, um, the boat comes out of the box with trim tabs, those are standard, and um, on and on. There's a live well in the back um, you can also, I believe, get a release well. Um, there's horizontal rod storage internal, to, uh, 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 sorry, underneath the gunnel. And you can put, I believe, up to four rods per side. The factory trailer is made by Ameritrail. I prefer the Ameritrail trailer for a bunch of reasons. It's not cheap, but at the same time, when you're buying a quality boat like a Maverick, you want to have a quality trailer that's going to just give you the best overall trailering, launching and retrieving experience. First of all, their swing tongue is really handy because it is what we call a zero clearance um, or a near zero clearance situation. The trailer swing tongue takes no additional room um, uh, than the length of the boat. We can actually move the boat forward a little bit by adjusting the trailer and we can have a nice plumb fin uh, fit so that for a tight garage your space is minimized. I love the way that they take the tongue jack and instead of putting it on the tongue in this scenario they put it right here on the apex of the trailer 
So I don't have that flimsy uh, scenario. What, what, what I've seen with some of the competing brands, they'll take the tongue jack and put it further back where it's on the I-beam. So you get some flex. And here it's right placed it right at the apex, so it's very firm. Coming back here, we've got the walk board. Uh, this trailer has what we call the Pro Package, and the Pro Package includes a walk board. So if you want to uh, launch this boat in, uh, let's say, for instance, on the shore or on the bank of the, of the lagoon, you can. It's so light in having that walk board, being able to just sort of walk back as you're pushing the boat off or even retrieving the boat to take the strap all the way back. Um, this walk board is really handy. What do I mean by that? Well, on the Pro Package, you get the walk board on the side. You get the walk boards here in the very back after the fender. Uh, we've got the, um, the side support rails. Instead of a PVC side guides, we have the full-on um, side rails. And again, for shallow water retrieval. Back over here, the last part of the Pro Package is this 18-inch wide roller. So. Um, so I can, again, I can just go and retrieve the boat in very shallow water by just um, pulling it up and it'll self-center. Did I mention the stainless steel straps that are part of the Maverick package? If you buy a factory trailer, you're going to get some extras at no extra charge. And one of those is the stainless steel tie-down straps as well as stainless steel fasteners and logo fenders that say Maverick along with a few other extras. That's a little bit about why we prefer the Ameritrail trailer. Also, their service is awesome. Um, Scott Locke and the gang over there in St. Cloud, they're great to work with, and we prefer Ameritrail for all of the Maverick Boat Group products, Hughes, Maverick, Pathfinder. Well, at the console, there's some, uh, a lot of things to talk about. First of all, uh, we've got the Edson steering wheel. This is, this is an option. It's black powder coated. Um, it's a cast stainless steel wheel. So it's all one piece. It has this really amazing um, power knob that is ball bearing actuated. So to turn the motor, um, when you're going say 40 miles an hour on a flats boat, it's great to have the ability to have that power knob just to easily turn the boat when you're moving along the flats. So Edson steering wheel is very, very handy. All of the switches are high high quality they're waterproof they have a real positive feel you can just kind of you know get the get a feel for the quality just of a boat just by touching the switches on the dash um, <clears throat> Garmin we've got the the seven inch Garmin built in flush mounted um, conveniently placed trim tab switches and the controls you know this boat has also the seat back rest which I don't have in place right now but there's a seat cushion that goes here and a seat backrest, which is optional. Seat cushion standard, seat backrest is optional. And that just makes it very comfortable to drive this boat. Now, something that I think is really handy is the ability for this panel to be completely removed. So to get access to inside of the console, you can just take this whole panel out and now I've got easy access to the, um, to the batteries. This boat is rigged right now for a total of three batteries. It has one starting battery and then two batteries for trolling motor. The, um, the way those work is one starting battery and one trolling battery in the console and the third uh, battery, this, which would be the second trolling motor battery, is up in the front by the fuel tank and that's just for weight and balance purposes real handy having a grab rail that is uh, attached to the side of the console. You can get this boat in either the tall console or the short console. The tall console is uh, what we have here and it affords us room for the flush mount GPS. The short console doesn't give you that real estate um, but maybe a little more visibility. Um, I prefer the tall console. I think that's how most people would, would like to have it. So on the back platform here, the, uh, the, the fishing platform, we've got a nice big space for walking around. All of the hatches are RTM molded, which means that they're very, very rigid. I'm 230 pounds, give or take, and I can stand on this lid 
without any give. The way they're uh, made is uh, real high quality. So if I open this hatch up here, first of all, we notice that the latches are uh, super high end, uh, stainless, very heavy duty metal. We've got stainless steel gas pistons that help open the hatch, making it easy to, uh, to hold the hatch open when you're in rough seas. This is a very, very large compartment that can be used as a release well. Over here, we've got the live well. And I've gone with the live well and uh, notice they didn't put a stainless steel gas piston in the live well because it's primarily going to be salty in there. Um, in the live well is a whole case study on how to do things right. So the neat, one of the neat things about the live well is that this particular live well, the design calls for there, there being two inlets um, for fresh water coming in or for seawater coming in. So there's an inlet at the top and another one at the bottom where seawater enters the live well through a Y, uh, through a Y fitting in the back. And why this is important is uh, this allows for uh, fresh seawater uh, to enter the live well at, at two different places in the water column. Fish that are congregating at the bottom or at the top are receiving the uh, uh, newer, more oxygenated water. Again, for the more sensitive bait fish, this is important. We've also got a recirculation feature on this live well. So down at the bottom there, uh, the, the um, I guess the wire mesh covered inlet is where recirculation water enters the pump and then it comes out at the top. We've also, and th where that would come in handy is, let's say um, you stopped off at the bait shop and you purchased bait and uh, you were on your way, you were trailering um, to the lagoon uh, and you wanted to keep those baits fresh, you would turn on both the recirc and in this case the bubbler until you get out into the into the lagoon. Um, you could also be using this as a release well if you caught um, a couple of fish and you wanted to keep them alive while you were trailering to, to a weigh-in, for instance, if it were a catch and release type of tournament. Okay, so um, we've also got a light, an LED light that lights up the live well. Um, by the way, the gutter drain here around the outside of the live well is very aggressive. It's very deep. So if you do happen to get spillover, it's going gonna, it's gonna to drain overboard. But, uh, but the biggest feature to talk about is the spillway. There's a couple of white tabs here that get moved out of the way. And this plexiglass plate um, covers up what we call the spillway. So I would put my standpipe in the back of the spillway, screw it down into place, and then this, this plexiglass grate um, covers the front of the spillway. Now what that does is it enables, again, the expired water to, uh, to re um, leave the live well at all levels of the water column. And, uh, and as, I, as I mentioned earlier, for sensitive baits, this is very important. So a lot going on in this live well. Uh, I think it's an awesome design. And I know that our, our boat buyers feel the same way. Some other really hot features on the 18 HPX that are easy to overlook. Sea deck on the polling platform and the casting platform in the front. Very nice touch. Pop-up cleat on the very front of the boat. Why is that important? What if I'm fly fishing? I want to have as flush a deck as possible. Same thing with the gasoline fill cap. The gasoline fill cap is not above grade. I'm not going to have fly fishing line or anything else that gets snagged on that. Notice how they've made a nice drain indentation. We've got the marine mat uh, on the horizontal rod holders so that your rods and your fly reels don't get damaged. We've got little um, nice decorative rings, the metal rings where the rod tips are going, again, for further protection of your very expensive fishing gear. Hey, did I mention it has tilt steering? So tilt steering wheel on a boat this size is very important when you're trying to get away or get around a tight console. What about the HPX logo drain uh, cover for the deck? 
Well, you want to be proud of your investment, and that's a nice touch showing you that this boat is fully customized. Checking out at the back, on the polling platform, we have an ice tea bore push pull holder. And this, I've used this boat and, and, uh, or this device, and it's very handy when you want to transition between pulling and maybe casting or just resting the pole to move around the boat for a minute. It's really nice to have a high quality push pull holder that's integrated into the side of the pulling platform. Hey, by the way, I've fished on some boats. You can't even get up on the pulling platform without a major ordeal. Here, I've got a step built in so that old fat guys like me can easily get up here. There's so many things to appreciate on the boat. I wanted to show you a few of those highlights. This is Paul from Boaters Exchange. We're located in Rockledge on US-1 and also New Smyrna Beach on US-1. We're five-star rated with Yamaha. We're a Yamaha best-in-class dealer. We've also been named one of America's top 100 boat dealers by Boating Industry Magazine. I'd love to meet you in person. Mention this video and I'll get you a hat or a t-shirt. Give us a call at 321-638-0090.